in Woodbridge today after a threat was made against Amity Regional High School. Students were forced to hunker down as parents waited outside desperate for some answers. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live there with brand new details tonight. Matt. Well, Irene, uh, the school district and the police stressed that students were safe inside Amity High School. But as, students par as soon as parents heard about that threat specifically, that it mentioned a school shooting, well, plenty of them showed up here to grab their kids. Drone 3 sets the scene outside Amity Regional High School. Cop cruisers outside as parents rush to pick up their kids following a school threat. Scariest moment of my life. For junior Leah Katz and her classmates, it started out like any other day until word went out saying some students and staff got a threatening email this morning. I saw a bunch of kids talking about they got like some email and then they went on the announcements and said that there was like a stay put. So I didn't really know what was going on. Uh, they sent out a text to the parents just that they were in a lockdown. No, no more real details than that. But emails and social media posts quickly spread amongst the students detailing a specific threat, a school shooting set to take place at noon. My friend next to me got an email about the whole like school shooting thing and we were just like, what the heck? That's when students tell us they started texting and calling their parents with moms and dads racing in a panic to pick up their kids, parking their cars wherever they could in the nearby neighborhood. All of a sudden people started coming up panicking and they were telling me, showing me pictures of the email. And at first I was texting my mom, it's okay, I don't think anything's going on. And and as soon as I saw that, my face went white and I called my mom almost in tears telling her, help, I don't know what's going on, I love you, I don't know what's happening. While the superintendent said police were investigating and felt the school was safe, plenty of parents weren't taking any chances. Showing up even before the school sent out a text saying they could pick up their kids. Obviously, get to the school and there's police officers all over the place, which is, and it looked very safe. So, you know, my initial reaction was upon seeing it that they had this situation under, under control. As for the alleged threat, students tell us it was sent from a student's school email account. A bunch of kids are claiming that it, his account was hacked, but there's no really way to be sure. But it's kind of weird because I wasn't like going to expect that to be at our school. Again, Woodbridge police saying that the threat was not credible, but they, along with state and federal law enforcement officials, are working to determine the origin of the threat. And Woodbridge police tell us that they will have additional police resources here tomorrow as well. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in Woodbridge. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.